<laughs> oh my goodness, we have yellow and blue fluid and Steve Spangler, so we're all set. If you only knew what we talked about in the break. <laughs> if you only knew. Hey, uh, it's not a good thing, but every once in a while you wake up and you look downtown on my way in. You look downtown and you go, Ugh, look at that weather. The winter day. brown cloud. Yeah. yeah, and so I've always asked Kathy and she's, it just happens. And so here is a demo, one of my favorites of all time. So easy to do. We're just using these juice bottles okay. that you see here. So I just uh, found these wide mouth juice bottles. You have to have a, a little bit of um, a kind of a steady hand to make it happen. But tell everybody what we have here. This is warm water. Yeah, this is warm. Yep, there Very you go. Warm and Kim, nice cold. And cold over there. Very cold. Yellow, probably warm, switched blue, them cold. or whatever. So uh, we're going to use this to kind of represent. I'll show you the demo first, and then we're using this to represent the atmosphere. So the cold will be the blue. So excuse the reach, but the uh, cold is going to go into, or the blue will go into the container marked cold. You'll see that here in just a second. Turned upside down. Can you top that off. And this one, yes, you got to get it right to the very top. Cold. Yes, cold. Filled sitting to right the over very there. brim. Compelling TV right now. I can tell everyone is just on the edge. Okay. Look at that. So there's one. Stand by. And now here comes our warm water. So what we're doing is we're just going to simulate the atmosphere. So what happens when the sun warms the earth and then all of a sudden that hot air begins to uh, to rise and to mix around? There's our hot. Okay. Okay. So here is what happens. Yellow uh, is sun. Yellow is the sun. Which Warm. should work, yes, should work just fine. So let's see if we can make you that. You had that measured that perfectly. Happen. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, so here's what happens. Watch this. Cold goes here. I'm going to turn the whole thing upside down. We just hope and pray <laughs> that we um, that nobody bumps the table. And you slowly pull this away like this. <gasps> Do you look at this? It looks pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. So there is our cold. Look at the mixing that you start to get. Yes. Right. So the blue mixes there. And so you start to get that mixing up and down. If I step back here to the side just a little bit. Oh, did the wrong way. Sorry. So you can kind of start to see that here against the white. The green now, in the yep, middle. You got it. The green in the middle. But watch what happens here as we turn this upside down. We're going to keep the hot on the top okay. and leave the cold on the bottom. Watch what happens when we allow these two to kind of slowly mix. So this is the hot now sitting to the cold. Hot sits in and the top now watch this no mixing not much yeah, at all so if you take a look at that this is what happens when the earth is cold winter time there's not a lot of mixing so you get carbon monoxide you get car exhaust and so forth and you're going to start to see this little layer that sits in here that acts it's green so that's just where that layer that right. brown cloud sits no mixing in the atmosphere so here you've got all the pollution that's there, but when it's warm and you're driving outside and it's warm, you now allow that uh, to be able to mix up into the atmosphere, and it still means there's pollutants, but you don't see that layer there of brown I have a question. cloud. So temperature inversion is what Kathy would call that. How do you undo the? That's the first thing don't, I was I thinking. I don't know. I didn't get to that part. <laughs> okay, we're yet. out of here. Don't even <laughs> think about touching the table well, right now. Thanks for coming in. It's yeah, really it's been great. Don't it's even been really yeah, good. You. We wish you thank all the best. Have fun. See how that works out for you. Thank you, everybody. We, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, Nine News will be right back. <laughs>